much a lot to unpack there, but how crucial was it to get something from that game? Um, very crucial. Um, I thought the effort today and people absolutely out on their feet at the end. Uh, it's criminal that we're asking them to keep playing, but they were fantastic. The whole club today, players, staff, supporters, you saw what it meant at the end, um, and we deserved that so much as a club. We were against the world today. I have to be careful what I, what I say, but we were against the world. Um, we picked up more really bad injuries today. We lost Worthington, two games to suspension. But the point was, our first half performance was brilliant. I thought we could totally controlled the game. Um, and we need, to, we need to be in front. My only gripe for the players, I spoke to them there at length, is that the first half performance needs to be that we're winning the game by one or two goals. Because we know that Halifax are going to react. Um, the situation we find ourselves in, there's a lack of confidence in, the, in and around the opposition penalty area. And um, I said to the players, what's the worst thing that can happen? You can miss a chance. So what? Um, we need to sort that bit out. But if we play like we did today for, say, 70 minutes, and the last five minutes when we work so hard, then we'll be fine. We spoke about the first half, you had so many chances, but also there was a moment there that looked like it could have been a penalty on Malachi's influence. I don't want to mention the referee and speak about it, so it doesn't warrant me wasting any breath. It was a blatant penalty. Uh, and we got... I'd like to watch it back the game, but I thought we got an awful lot of decisions against us today. Um, and a horrendous tackle on Edwin Agbarge. Um So he's in a bad way, so obviously we've got to see how that pans out. But, um, if anyone's got their boots next next week, make sure you bring them, you might get a game. But whole club today, fantastic. Well, let's speak about those injuries. Lord the act was pulled up, it looked like a, yeah. a hamstring. How bad did that look? Yeah, that'll be three or four, minimum four weeks. Fisher, hamstring. Uh, so, yeah, Edwin will be... Uh, by the look of it, a long one, and um, and, and Worthington two-game ban. So, listen, I've said to the players, they need to go away. I don't think about football for three or four days. Just go and relax, recover, because we've got to go on next Saturday, and we've got to cobble a team together. But what I do know is they'll have a really good go. And the equaliser was a scruffy equaliser, and it looked like it... It might not even be given. It took a while for the referee and the linesman to make a decision, but you deserved that, didn't you? Yeah, it wouldn't have surprised me if it wasn't given. Uh, it just shows we we, we never gave in. Um, Jordan McGuire's Drew's playing with one leg, and he put, put a great ball in at the end. Um, and we attacked it, and we got the bits, and I think Mal got the final touch, did he? Please for Mal. And um, I thought the least we deserve was a point. Let's talk about the lack of bodies that yeah. you've got. You weren't able to name a full bench either. Rio Griffiths didn't make the bench. And then you've got other players that are still waiting to come back. What's what's the plan there? And why didn't Griffiths make them? Uh, Griffiths missed training yesterday. Um, so, and then obviously we've got six loans as well. So you can only have five on the pitch. Uh, so listen, I, I need to, we need to think about what we're going to do because... What we don't want to do is sign loads of players um, and burden ourselves with loads of debt. We need to make sure that if we bring anyone in, that they're going to improve us and they're ready to go. Because it is last chance now to sign players, yeah. isn't it? You've yeah. got a free week, but you've got to sign them by Thursday. That's right. So hopefully we can uh, we can come up with um, a name or two and, and try and get them in to help the boys that are... I've never seen effort like it, and I'm so so proud of so proud of them. And win, lose, or draw, whatever I moan about, I can't moan about their effort. No, and they put their bodies on the line, didn't they? But how frustrating was it for Matt Huntington to get that from just five minutes to go? It was just a culmination of events there, where you know we we just didn't get any rubber the green, and like he had to make the foul, I think, mm. because they were breaking. So listen, Worthy has been fantastic, and. 
we're going to miss him for two games for sure. But um, what that does, it gives somebody else an opportunity. And that leaves you four points clear of, of the drop zone. Shows how crucial with a couple of other teams playing each other today, that point might be coming. That's it. As long as we keep our noses above that line this season, um, that's that's the since I came in, it was the only aim was to to try and make sure this club was playing Premier League, uh, uh, National League, Premier League football next season, and uh, hopefully that's the case, and uh, we get it done. Thanks for your time, Mark. Thank you very much.